Welcome to this tutorial on ambulance reviews. The information given in this training is correct as of October 2021. The most current information contained in this presentation can be found on the Noridian Medicare website and the CMS website at the links listed on this slide. The goal of any review is to pay the right amount to a legitimate provider for covered services and items, correctly coded and correctly billed services, and provided to an eligible beneficiary. Multiple CMS contractors identified below are charged with completing reviews of medical record and each send their own demand letter. Noridian Medical Review, MR, and Targeted Probe and Educate, TPE. Comprehensive Air Rate Testing, CERT. Recovery Auditor Contractor, RAC. Supplemental Medical Review Contractor, SMRC. And Unified Program Integrity Contractor, UPIC. It is important for providers to review the letter closely as most times the reviewing entity is indicated within the body of the letter. In regards to additional documentation requests, it is very important to respond to the requesting contractors in a timely manner. Each demand letter has a response date and the type of information they are requesting. Make sure that the documentation is legible. Fax documents, remember, no highlights, it'll go black. Make sure addresses are correct and it might be helpful to assign a designated person within your organization to address these requests. For questions, please see information on the letter for contact information. Noridian's Medical Review has an illustrated example of an ADR letter on their webpage. Provided here are the links to the JE and JF pages. The screenshot of an ADR letter shows some of the elements on the demand letter provider's address and file, date, claim number, patient ID number, beneficiary name, NPI P10. Also, date documentation needs to be submitted to Noridian by the 45 days after the date of the letter, dates of service, the MR email address, and procedure codes. Included here is a snapshot of a handy tool available on the Medical Review webpage, the ADR Timeliness Calculator. In this example, we use the date of 10-1-2021. Click Check and ADR Receive Date is displayed. With an ADR notification date of 10-1-2021, the ADR must be received by November 15, 2021. CMS has authorized Noridian to conduct the Targeted Probe and Educate TPE review process for certain providers by medical review. We will select the topics and providers for review based on existing data analysis procedures outlined in CMS IOM 100-8. The TPE review process includes three rounds of a prepayment probe review with education. For more information, please visit the links provided on this slide. This slide contains a brief CERT overview. CERT is a CMS program created to assist in eliminating improper payments. Some of the CERT findings are listed below. Transportation codes such as HCPCS A0425, A0427, A0428, and A0429 were not supported due to insufficient documentation and medical necessity. Ambulance services, not reasonable and necessary, Submitted documentation does not support that beneficiary could not have been safely transported by another method. Missing or illegible signatures. Missing attestation or signature log. Recovery Audit Contractor or RAC program was created through the Medicare Modernization Act of 2003. 
to identify and recover improper Medicare payments paid to healthcare providers under fee-for-service Medicare plans. The RA program is the next step by CMS in their comprehensive effort to identify improper Medicare payments and fight fraud, waste, and abuse in the Medicare Trust Fund. SMRC. Noridian is the review contractor for Supplemental Medical Review Contractor, or SMRC. This contractor conducts special medical review studies of Part A and B claims on a quarterly basis and vary in topic. The focus of the reviews may include, but is not limited to, vulnerabilities identified by CMS internal data analysis, the Comprehensive Error Rate Testing CERT program, professional organizations, and federal oversight agencies. UPIC, Unified Program Integrity Contractor. UPIC's primary goal is to investigate instances of suspected fraud, waste, and abuse in Medicare or Medicaid claims. They develop investigations early and in a timely manner take immediate action to ensure Medicare trust fund monies are not inappropriately paid. They also identify any improper payments that are to be recouped by the MAC, the Medicare Administrative Contractor. Common explanations found during many reviews of trip sheets include, but are not limited to. Patient cannot tolerate wheelchair, Patient unable to support self in wheelchair. Patient has dementia or patient forgetful. Patient has pain. Needs monitoring or oxygen. Family requests ambul ambulance support. These statements don't reflect a concise explanation of the medical necessity of ambulance transport and or skilled monitoring. The documentation needs to convey the who, what, when, and why. A full picture the patient's condition or family request. What is our medical review team seeing when looking at documentation requested? Medical necessity. Just a reminder, the patient's condition at the time of transport and not whether or not such other transportation is actually available. Hospice. If the medical condition of the patient at the time of the transport is related to the patient's hospice diagnosis, then the claim must be submitted to hospice. If unrelated, submit with a GW modifier to Medicare fee for service. Signatures. Payment cannot be made if the trip report does not have a valid signature from the EMT and or paramedic. Lack of information. Ensure that the EMT or paramedics are thoroughly documenting the patient's condition and any other events that may take place during transport. Vague or blanket statements such as confused, requires oxygen, or dementia do not justify medical necessity. Items of interest to the MR nurse are exam and assessment to include vital signs, any infusions, the application of oxygen and root liters per minute, any appliances or drainage devices. Please be careful and make sure that the trip report and documentation matches your billing, including origin and destination modifiers. Medical review is seeing documentation errors that are not supporting the level build. For example, advanced life support ALS transports that should have been basic life support BLS, also emergencies that were non-emergencies. They've also seen mileage issues. For example, if you have an emergency transport beyond the nearest hospital due to a family request, then when billing, break out the mileage for covered mileage under A0425 and any additional non-cover miles under A0888. Also, missing additional documentation response. When one of these are sent to your office and you've responded, Neridian is seen some of the documentation is missing for that ambulance service specific review. Other documentation may need to be submitted to support the services in addition to those items in the letter. Lastly, if you receive a request, please tell your staff that opens the mail to promptly address this and give to the correct staff member to follow up timely. Your office has only a few weeks to return the documentation or claim monies could be recouped.
The next two slides are examples for bed confinement and specialty care transport, SCT. This example shows a return dialysis trip that had a PCS that noted bed confined and that the patient is confused. So we have an 84-year-old male returning home after dialysis. The PCS noted bed confined in confusion. The trip report showed alert oriented times four, no confusion, and that vital signs are stable. But that was not true after reading the trip reports because the patient was found in a dialysis chair, therefore does not meet all three criteria of a true bed confined beneficiary. The patient was in a dialysis chair, not bed confined. Here is a return trip SCT example. The note stated the patient was on a respirator, having dialysis and returning to the nursing home. A 76-year-old female returning to nursing home after dialysis. Certification statement notes patient is on a respirator. Trip report notes alert times two, vital signs stable, oxygen saturation 98, patient has clear lungs, has trach with two liters oxygen, no vent settings given. The claim correctly downcoded to A0428 instead of specialty care transport. In this case, medical review agreed with the necessity of a return trip via ambulance, but not at the level of specialty care transport. So the claim was downcoded from A0434 to A0428. Audit findings and billing. Audits were done and some face-to-face -face education was done, but the results show that the problems were incorrect records, dates of service, modifiers, also incorrect coding level of service, ALS versus BLS, emergent versus non-emergent, incorrect modifier, duplicate billing, and hospice related. Thank you for taking the time to listen to our tutorial. Continue your learning experience by referring to additional recordings available on the Noridian website or YouTube channel.